Okay, I'm Lisa Carey. I'm a recovering alcoholic. I have been sober since November 26th, 2007, so I just celebrated 11 years. I started drinking in college, but I was struggling with coping skills long before that. Um, I am, I think, largely fear-based, and I was reacting to uncomfortable situations with mechanisms I built because of that fear. I was lying, I was manipulative, um, I was self-pitying, I had a lot of just really negative characteristics that I was carrying around. I found myself in the emergency room Thanksgiving weekend, 2007, and I spent three days there, and I was as broken and as hopeless as I'd ever been. I didn't think after four years of trying to work a program of recovery and not succeeding, I thought, I'm, I'm just a defect. I, every assembly line has parts that roll off that are defective. I am a defect, I'm not going to get sober, and what does the rest of this life look like for me? I was lost. On my second day there, the chaplain came in and talked with me and I explained to him what had been going on and some of the consequences I had been experiencing financially, socially, with family, with work, physically. And when I was done, he said, I hear a lot of shame in your story. And I said, yeah, there's, I'm, I'm carrying a lot of shame. And he said, what if you don't have to have that shame anymore? What if you've already been forgiven for all of these things that you continue to punish yourself for? But as he was talking, something very small in the bottom of my heart shifted just a little bit, and I was willing to consider that I might be forgiven. And he asked me to pray a salvation prayer with him, and I did. And he left that night, and I had a long talk with God in my room, and I said, look, I don't think I can survive this for much longer, so absent any other ideas, let's try it your way. I got out the next morning and things were immediately improved. I thought for a long time I was the problem, that, that I was fundamentally flawed and that I was just going to need to make it through life as a defective part. And through working a program of recovery, through a daily relationship with God, through constant prayer and working with others and cleaning my own house, um, I started to regain that sense of worth and some distance from the, the addiction. And that helped me reframe my identity. It helped me realize that I was a child of God. I was struggling with a problem. And because I was sticking close to God, things were getting better.